Welcome back to the channel. It is 2021 Cruise the Moose, Johnsburg, Illinois. First show of the year. Unfortunately, as you can see here, we had some rain, so it is not what they expected for car count, but there are still cars out here, so we're going to give you a little walk around. But before that, I want to say thanks for coming to the channel, liking, subscribing, commenting, all that. If you haven't already, hit the subscription button. You'll be able to see everything we put up. Go check out all the other stuff before that uh, was released. And uh, one other thing before we get going, I'm working with uh, Cruise Moose this year. We're going to do a DVD for sale at the end of the year. So September 7th, they will be available. You can get them pre-order. If you go to the DJ booth, you can sign up, get all the information there. You can also message me or get information on my Facebook page, drdphotos.com, anything like that. You can get a hold of me. You can also hit up Cruise the Moose. They'll have the information that will be available for the DVDs. Let's get to it. C10 is minty fresh, super clean. Small block. Very nice, very, very nice. Has like a houndstooth style uh, interior.
not sure what this thing is, but it's small. It's a Honda 125. Oh, it's a Grom. That's crazy. I've never seen one with a body kit yeah, like that. Now that it says that, I can see it in the swing arm area, but that's pretty funny. I've never seen it's got the Mario tag, the Mario Grom. That's pretty interesting. That's neat. I've never seen one done up like that. So this is Brutus. He's uh, around at a lot of shows and cruise nights around here. Uh, I'm not sure, it says Snub Nose up here. I'm not really sure what that means. If this is like a old work truck, like a seat, I don't know what the seat 50s or whatever they were called. And then like a standard bed, um, not really sure. But this guy gets around, he uh, definitely enjoys his truck because he is out driving the heck out of it. And as you can see, like I said, it says Brutus on the back. That's his uh, deal. I've seen it a couple times out. I uh, really like it. I don't know, just the way it sits, the stance. I like the tires on it. It's not super tall, but it's definitely big. Makes a presence. I'm not sure if it's on the uh, original chassis or anything like that. It seems like there's a lot of space up here, but uh, it's very cool. Either way, I like it. California style inspired Beetle over here. We got the surfboard on the top. Got the old air conditioning. If you've never seen one of those before, they're pretty neat. I think the, what it was is you put ice in here and the air comes in and there's a little fan and it blows cold air in from what I remember. Could be wrong though. Yeah, we got the lines in the back. Pretty neat. Very nice build. Very, very clean. Very nicely done. Got the luggage in the back. Very cool. Look at that. They got the old Coke bottle in the uh, basket down there. Very cool.
say I've ever seen a tilt front end on one of these before. That's pretty wild. It looks like they used uh, the stock hood hinges and they just uh, cut the fenders and made it uh, latchable. Pretty neat idea, that's for sure. Bike section over here. Kenry Moose Riders. Got four bikes showed up. Look at this. Pretty wild setup. I'm guessing that's a, a flamethrower. Yeah, we got a Holly regulator. I've never seen that on a bike before, that's for sure. Oh, and I wonder if those are the propane tanks or kerosene tanks. Nitrous? Interesting. Interesting. Well, that's going to about wrap it up for this show. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys next time.